deep within the heart of Chile, a legend roars to life. The Mapuche people, children of this land, whisper tales of a creature born of fire and fury. It is the Cherufe, a beast intrinsically linked to the very soul of the earth. Its story, passed down through generations, speaks of the awesome power that dwells beneath our feet. The Cherufe is more than just a monster. It is a manifestation of the volatile forces that have shaped this land. The Mapuche, with their deep connection to nature, wove tales of the Cheruf into the fabric of their being. Theirs is a world where the line between myth and reality blurs, where respect for the natural world is paramount. In the shadow of towering volcanoes and amidst the tremors that shake the ground, the legend of the Cheruf found fertile ground to grow. Imagine, if you will, a creature forged in the heart of a volcano. The Cherufe is described as a monstrous lizard, its skin shimmering like obsidian, reflecting the molten fury from which it came. Some say it resembles a gigantic reptile, its body rippling with muscle as it moves through the Earth's veins. Others envision it as a creature of pure fire, its form constantly shifting like flames. Its eyes burn with an inner fire, reflecting the molten rock that flows through its domain. Its breath, they say, is a torrent of fire and ash, capable of scorching the earth and melting the strongest steel. The very ground trembles with each heavy step, a testament to the raw power it embodies. The Cherufe, born of the volcano, is a creature of insatiable hunger. But its appetite is not for flesh and bone. This beast feeds on something far more precious molten metal, the lifeblood of the earth itself. The Mapuche believe that the Cherufe's hunger is the cause of volcanic eruptions and earthquakes. When it stirs within the earth's belly, the ground trembles. When it feeds, volcanoes erupt, spewing forth fire and ash, it is a force of nature, both terrifying and awe-inspiring in its power. Appeasement in the face of fury. Faced with such a formidable force, the Mapuche people developed rituals to appease the Cheruf and prevent its wrath. They believed that by offering sacrifices, they could satiate the creature's hunger and maintain a sense of harmony with the natural world. These offerings were not taken lightly. They were often precious objects imbued with deep cultural significance. In times of great need, legend has it that the Mapuche even made the ultimate sacrifice, offering a human life to appease the fiery beast and ensure the safety of their people. Echoes of the Volcano's Wrath The legend of the Cheruf though steeped in ancient belief, still resonates strongly in Chile today. It is a stark reminder of the power of nature and the respect it commands. The myth serves as a cautionary tale, urging respect for the delicate balance between humanity and the natural world. Though science may offer alternative explanations for volcanic eruptions and earthquakes, the legend of the Cheruf endures. It reminds us that we are but guests on this earth, sharing space with forces far older and more powerful than ourselves. And within that realization lies a profound sense of awe and wonder. <laughs>